Now let us discuss about removal of unit productions in simplification of CFC, simplification of context-free grammar. Uh, let a production is in the form A implies B, where A is a single non-terminal, B is a single non-terminal. Then the corresponding production is treated as unit production. So left hand side should contain only one non-terminal. Right hand side should contain only one non-terminal. Non-terminal means uppercase letter. Let us see how to remove unit productions. Let me have two productions. Let the first production is A produces B. Let the second production is B produces X1, X2, so R, Xn. So here the first production is ending with B, whereas the second production is starting with B. Okay. So if there are two productions like this, here X1, X2, so on, Xn are combination of non-terminals or combination of terminals or combinations of both. There is no problem. Okay. Then we can replace. Then we in order to eliminate A produces B, we can use a production called A produces. Here we have A produces B. Second production is B produces X1, X2, X3. So this B is replaced with X1, X2, so on, Xn. X1, X2, so on, Xn. So in this way, we can eliminate unit production. Now let us solve these two examples. If we solve these two examples, then in the examination you can solve any example. <coughs> Let us see the first example. S yes produces 0A or 1B or C. A produces 0S or 00. B produces 1 or A. C produces 01. So first we have to identify unit productions. Unit productions means left hand side should contain only one non-terminal. Right hand side should also contain only one non-terminal. So first we have to identify them. So S produces 0A. So this is not unit production. 1B not unit production. C. Here we have only one non-terminal. So first let us identify unit productions. Let us identify unit productions. So what is the first production? S produces C. Second production? A produces 0s, 0, 00. In the right hand side, we don't have a single non terminal. So, right hand side production doesn't contain any unit production. Next, third one, B produces 1 or A. In the right hand side, we have single non terminal. So, B produces A is another unit production. Next one, C produces 0, 01. In the right hand side, we don't have any, any <coughs> non terminal, any single non terminal. So these two are the unit productions. Now our target is we have to eliminate these two productions. Let us eliminate the first one. So eliminate S yes produces C. So how to eliminate S yes produces C? If we want to eliminate S yes produces C, then we have to take another production which starts with C. So here we have such production that is C produces 0, 1. So let us take C produces 0, 1. Then, if your production is in the form A implies B, B implies X1, X2, X3, so on, Xn, <coughs> then we can replace this production with S yes produces. What is C? 0, 1. So, S yes produces 0, 1. Okay. So, this is the production. Okay. So, here we have eliminated this production. So, after eliminating S yes produces uh, C, we will get S yes produces 0, 1. Okay. S yes produces 0, 1. Next, we need to eliminate the second production. What is the second production? B produces C. B produces C. So, in order to eliminate B produces C, we have to take a production which starts with A. Here, we have one such production. What is that production? A produces 0, S yes or 0, 0. A produces 0, S yes, or 0, 0. Then we can replace this. Then we can eliminate this production with 
B in place, here this A is replaced with this one. So B in place, 0 yes, R 0 0. B in place, 0 yes, R 0 0. So this production is also removed. So after eliminating unit projects, what is the grammar? So for space constraints, uh, let us write here. There is no problem. S produces. What is the first production? So this is nothing but the final grammar after eliminating unit productions. S produces 0A or 1B. Yeah, here we have more space. So here after eliminating unit productions, the final grammar is S produces 0A or 1B. S produces C is replaced with what? S produces 0, 1. So left hand side we have yes, so 0, 1. Next A produces 0, yes, 0, 0. There is no problem here. There is no unit production here. Next B produces 1 or A. B produces A is replaced with A is replaced with 0, yes, 0, 0. And what is the last word? C produces 0, 1. So after eliminating unit productions from this grammar, this is the final grammar. Now let us solve the second example. So this is the example. S produces A, B. A produces A. Next to B produces C or B. C is not terminal. C produces D. D produces E or B, C. Next E produces D or A, B. So first we have to identify unit productions. So what are the unit productions here? So unit production means <coughs> left hand side should contain only one non-terminal, right hand side should contain only one non-terminal. So S produces A, B. There is no problem. A produces A. This is also not unit production. B produces C. This is unit production. Why? Because left hand side and right hand side contains only one non-terminal. B produces B. This is a terminal. C produces D. This is also unit production. D produces C. This is also unit production. D produces B, C, E produces B, E produces A, B, R, uh, not unit productions. Now we have to remove that. We have to remove these three productions. Let us take the, let us consider the first two. B produces C, C produces D. So this can be replaced with B produces D. But what is D? <coughs> e. We don't know what is E value. We don't know what is E value. If we consider the last two, C produces D, D produces E. So we can replace this D with E, but we don't know what is E value. So it is better to go in the reverse. So eliminate the last one. Eliminate. D produces E. So in order to eliminate D produces E, we have to take a production which begins with E. So that is the description. E produces D R A B. So this is in the form of A produces B, B produces X1, X2, so on. So D produces. <coughs> so this E is replaced with D produces A B. D produces A B. So this is nothing but D value. So what is D value here? E or B C. So here we have the other production that is B C. So let us take this B C also. This B C also. So this is nothing but the final production of D. What is the final production of D? E or B C. What is E value? This value. B or A B. The next one is B C. Next we have to eliminate. Next we have to eliminate. C produces D. So in order to eliminate C produces D, let us consider a production which begins with D. So that is this production. D produces E. D produces E. Or uh, what is the other production for uh, D? B, C. So we can take this also. Or uh, it is our choice. Next, uh, it is replaced with C produces D, D produces E. So this is replaced with C produces E. C produces C. So this is nothing but C produces. Uh, yeah, already we have D value. C produces C and D produces C. So C produces C. So what is E value? 
you know what is z value what is z value c produces bre so this is nothing but uh, c value so here we have to eliminate c produces d so for that we have to consider this one d produces c so now we have to replace this with c produces c c produces c so c produces what is z productions bre d let us take the last one eliminate b produces c so let us consider c produces d so b produces this is replaced with d this is replaced with d so b produces what is d productions what is d productions dr abr bcr and what is the annual production we have b b so after eliminating unit productions the final grammar is there is no change in the first two productions write the first two as it is <coughs> next to b produces what is b productions what is b productions d r a b r d c r b <coughs> c produces what is what is the production d r a b next d produces d r a b r b c next e produces d r a b so likewise you can solve any problem in the examination based on removal of unit productions